mental health panel discussion for Mental Health Week. Now, before we get into it, I want to explain sort of what this is going to be about, what we're going to be doing. So it's going to be, as you see right here, we've got a panel of guys who are going to introduce themselves in a second. And we're going to talk about mental health. We're going to talk about our experiences. We're going to talk about what we think is going down with the situation right now with young black men in London, out of London, all across the nation and their mental health. So I think it's only right that we introduce ourselves first and go around and introduce yourself. So we start over here. Tell them, tell them your name and a little, little bit about you, a little bit about you. Okay, cool. My name is Emmanuel Speaks. Um, working word artist, performance poet, writer. Um, yeah, I guess social is Emmanuel Speaks, underscore on the tour, everything else, Emmanuel Speaks. Where, um, music name, yes, Bantz, Uncle Bantz on the social, social media, um, music manager, radio host, promoter, also social. Yeah, me, I'm Lippy. Um, my Twitter is at Don Morgan Lips. My Instagram is Don Dada Lips. Um, I'm just the Don Dada, that's just me. Come on. Some of you. I like it, I like it. And, and my name is Jordan, Jordan Wilkes. I keep it very, very simple on Twitter, Jordan J. Wilkes. That's me. Um, I don't do nearly as much as these guys do. I do a little bit of radio represent. Uh, and my reason for being here is because I spent a couple of years of my life doing motivational speaking and talking about exactly this mental health with young people. So this is a very, very important cause, very, very important discussion. And one, I'm happy that you guys are here to have. So, thanks. So let's, let's jump straight in. Okay, so with that, let's jump into the first question. Now, the first one, I wanted it to be, I wanted to go personal straight away. I wanted, to, I wanted us to jump straight in and, and talk about us. So my first question is, what has your experience so far in, in the years that you've lived been with mental health? What's it, what, what's it been like for you? Have there been any battles, any sort of, um, what have been the ups and downs? What, when, we, when we say mental health, what does it mean to you guys in the future? Um, I'd say there's definitely been some battles, I'd say on both sides of the coin, both um, in experience of myself personally, and seeing it on the other side with the people that are around me, my friends and my family. So um, it's kind of given me this kind of comprehensive view of what, what mental health is and being able to um, recognise it and understand what it means and, and kind of see the intricacies of it. Obviously I went to university, so anyone that goes to university knows how susceptible you are to being affected by mental health. Sometimes like loneliness grabs you, you might be living in a house full of all your man them, all your girls, but you're still lonely, it's mad. So kind of going through that, growing as a man, having friends that go through certain things with family that leads them to spiral out into, into kind of episodes or whatever, like I've, I've seen, I've seen the full, the full effect of what mental health can do to a person, how, how, how kind of suppressing it can almost be, do more than mm-hmm. harm to good sometimes as well. So yeah, man, definitely. Sweet. Uh, oh, for me personally, um, I've never been able to like see like um, how, because with mental health, I've always been told, oh, you get a title if you've got like something. Like, they, they say something's wrong, they give you a title, you need to take this, you need to take that. So when, like myself, I would never know if I've been at that point going through something, which we could be considered like a mental health problem. So with the pressures of like, being a, like a black male in general at the moment, like I've always been told, oh, a man's got to do this, a man's got to do that, a man's got to do that. So with pressure, um, I'm putting pressure on myself, I'm feeling that I'm getting putting pressure on by others. I could I could only just um, start to feel that like you know, like something's not right at the moment. Like I like I don't feel like as as a person like I'm, I'm doing well at the moment. Yeah. So like um, that's I've not I've had more of trying to do a self analysis in terms of mental health for myself. But and I'm but from looking at other people as well, like other black men around me. I can tell they're going through something as well. And it's most of the time it's something very similar to you as well. Because um, like in the black, the black community in general, mental health is like something which is very touchy, like a taboo, really. So it's like something that like you wouldn't want to go to the doctors or tell your mom that our mom, um, I don't feel right at the moment, mental health as well, because it's all pride as well as well. And like you're going to say, oh, I'm the person with mental health problems in the family. So yeah, but, uh, I just, it's always the same, but. Um, 
we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. We're gonna jump in. Yeah, we're gonna jump in. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Come on, With me personally, um, I kind of grew up. I wouldn't say I was a troublemaker, but I had a lot of problems with like other black males. And I kind of think on the roles, there's a lot of mental health. Um, me personally, between the ages of like 16 till I was about 23 or 26 now, um, I didn't, I, I couldn't be outside without a weapon. I couldn't do it, like literally, I physically, like felt like I was naked. I put on my boxer shorts, my socks, my clothes and my weapon. And um, just for me, um, kind of when, it came to admitting it, that's kind of when I realised that, like, right, this is, this is a problem, I don't just carry a weapon, I, I feel that I need to, and all my friends did, um, anyone I had a problem with did as well, and kind of when you're in it, when you're in that bubble, kind of because other people that, that weren't involved in that, they accepted it as well, they kind of just said, right, you got that on you, that's what, that's what you lot do, so we were kind of left to move crazy really and luckily um what saved me is I, I, I had my first little girl at 23 but that took me out of it but a lot of my friends and that they're very institutionalized and it's kind of from the outside looking in it look like nothing can save them kind of thing and it's it's, it's quite bad on the road i think there's a lot of mental health but because it's kind of a mental health is kind of associated with weakness and road man are kind of big, scary, intimidating. So it's kind of to say that they, they have mental health problems, especially when someone stepped to me, because he was one of my parents, one of my parents said, look, like, you know, there's something wrong, like, and I kind of thought, what are you talking about this? There's hundreds of us kind of thing. And kind of, I kind of felt the safety in numbers when I started working and kind of going out to the outside world, when I realized that Ra is not a lot of people like this. It, feels like it is when you're in it and you're with the man and everything but when you when you step outside of that it's it kind of opens up your eyes yeah imagine yeah. imagine very interesting um what i find most interesting is that with with everyone everyone that you meet and everyone you talk to just throughout life everyone has a different story or has uh we, yeah, we have a brain we live we're here therefore everybody has a different story when it comes to mental health and it's I feel like discussions like these are going to be important and I think more so when you look at the context of what's going on with young people young black men yeah, it, specifically these type of discussions one of the things happen often enough or never have happened often enough where people sit down and frankly say look this is what's happening with me this is what I feel about society in general come and join us and let's talk I don't yeah, think yeah. it's happened that much um, and so I think this is this is going to be a good opportunity to just let's get it all out on the table, let's talk, and let's let people have a place where they can go to to really discuss stuff. So thank you very much for sharing your uh, personal experiences. I don't know, no problem. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah. Question of the week.